Hey there everybody, uh, it's Joel from 7th Level Reptiles and um, this obviously is going to be a little bit different but um, I wanted to just take a minute and um, I guess give my thoughts and um, tell a little bit of story about what Brian Barcheck meant to me or means to me as a reptile breeder. Um, I've kind of, my head's been in a lot of places over the last couple days since finding out um, if you're watching this, you probably already know, but Brian Barczyk passed away on Sunday, um, January 14th, um, after his battle with pancreatic cancer. Um, and, and I've just kind of been, I don't know, there's been a lot of thoughts going on. Um, I didn't really think I would do this, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized that Brian's legacy lives on through the people that he impacted and influenced. And so though I know probably not many people will ever see this video, I wanted to, to just take a few minutes and talk about Brian and um, just express from my perspective how grateful we as a community of animal and specifically reptile lovers um, should be to Brian. So um, Brian was an amazing guy. Uh, he wasn't a perfect guy, um, but you know um, he probably has had close to, if not the biggest influence on the love of reptiles and their um, keeping and care uh, as anybody. Um, I actually first came across Brian on YouTube in 2009. And, um, you know, I don't, I wasn't, I, I couldn't say that I was friends with Brian. Um, I don't, I never met him face to face, but um, I began to get, um, introduced to him early on through Snake Bites TV. I think that was his first YouTube channel. And, and at that point in time, nobody was doing reptiles on YouTube, at least not anybody that I know of. And he kind of came out and he was funny and he was passionate. And he really started to draw people in with this, this passion and excitement to educate people about reptiles and to help them fall in love with reptiles. And I already loved reptiles. Um, I, I did um, for a long time, I got my first ball python back in, I think, 2003, 2004. Um, and so I had kept ball pythons before, and I already knew I loved them, but, but Brian opened up a whole new world. And he did that not just for me, but for so many people um, in the course of his journey. And I think at the time, he was the largest reptile breeder in North America. I, I might be wrong there. I don't have the statistics, but, but I know he had like 20 or 30,000 snakes at that time. He was producing thousands and thousands of babies every year. And this guy was just excited and passionate about snakes. And it was fun to watch. I had this little, just say, uh, not the most desirable job. And I worked in the middle of the night by myself in an office. And while I was doing my work, I could put on videos and listen and watch Brian's antics while I did my work. And it kind of helped get me through. But what Brian really ignited in me was uh, a different level of passion, right? I always loved and cared about these creatures, but he educated me and took me to a whole new world. And I, I don't think I'm exaggerating at all to say if it weren't for the influence of Brian Barczyk, I would not be a reptile breeder today, um, ball python breeder, um, seventh level reptiles wouldn't exist. And, and so here's kind of how that happened. In, in 2009, as I was watching his videos, I started to really get excited about this idea of not only keeping ball pythons, but to breed them and to produce them and to go through that process. And I watched egg cuttings and they're like, these are so cool. And um, I learned about the breeding process. And the really cool thing is, though I never personally directly interacted face to face with Brian, even way back then, I posted one of the emails uh, on my web or on my Facebook page a couple weeks ago. Um, but I actually went back and I found emails between me and Brian from 2009, the summer of 2009. So, um, you know, that's almost 15 years ago at this point where I was just a noob who, who really didn't know much. And I was asking, I emailed Brian, I figured, what's the worst that can do? I mean, he's the biggest ball python breeder in the world, probably. He'll probably never answer, but it doesn't hurt for me to send him an email. And so I did. And not only did he respond to me, but he responded like within like six or seven hours. It was crazy. And I'm emailing him in the middle of the night because it's like one or two o'clock in the morning. And he shoots me an email back. And we had this exchange over the next few days. And he was just so kind and so gracious and patiently answered questions that, 
you know, back then there wasn't a real good source to go to to learn a lot of the stuff that you can learn now in so many different places. He he kind of paved the way for that, but he was so gracious to some nobody that he knew in the middle of nowhere, you know, that would send him an email. And so he he was very kind and gracious and he helped me kind of get that journey started to to get my first um, vision for breeding. And though it took me years to really get it going, I never lost that inspiration. I've been following Brian since then. And the thing that I really love about Brian is he made a lot of mistakes over the years. But one thing that appeals appealed to me and I think probably to so many others is you just you just knew Brian was authentic. Like he was genuine. He was being himself. And even when he did something wrong, he learned from his mistakes. He admitted them publicly and he sought to do better and even asked the reptile community to help him do better. And that is such a characteristic that is lacking, in my opinion, in this day and age, especially if I had to nail down one thing in the reptile community that really really is harmful is there are so many people out there that consider themselves experts and they act as if their knowledge and their way is the only way. Uh, I hope I never come across that way. I don't believe that. Um, I believe I will always have more to learn from other people about this. And I saw that exhibited in Brian, just that humility and the passion and the ability to say, you know what, I was wrong and I'm going to do better. And not only say that, but you could see it over the years watching his progression as an animal keeper, as a YouTuber, as a as a person of influence. Like he really did what he said he was going to do. And so regardless of, you know, what happened in in the past, I saw him change over the years and I admired that so much. And so I, I just felt like I needed to just to get it out. And maybe this is just me talking to a stream for my own uh, own emotional health. Um, processing this stuff. Um, but Brian was an amazing guy. He influenced literally millions of people, perhaps the most influential voice a as an advocate for reptiles um, of maybe in all of history, certainly in my lifetime. Um, I know that when Steve Irwin passed away, that meant a lot to, that was a huge impact on Brian. And he had this vision to, to have the same type of influence and impact that Steve Irwin has. And I dare say that he most definitely accomplished that goal. Now, I'm not going to um, play any clips from him here, but I do want to um, point you, if you haven't seen Brian's goodbye message, the last time that he spoke on his YouTube channel, um, I'm going to point you that. I'm going to put it at the end of this video. I'm going to link it in the description. I'm going to encourage you to watch it. Um, if you love Brian, though, you even if you don't, you might want to have uh, a box of tissues nearby. I had to pause the video several times. As a, as a brother of a cancer survivor, um, my brother is a survivor of cancer. His wife last year went through a battle with cancer. Um, cancer has touched my family in a lot of ways. And so to watch him go through that and to know from the very beginning that it was unlikely that there was going to be any other outcome ultimately, um, it was tough. And watching him in the state he was, was difficult. Um, but not only that, like, sorry, I'm actually uh, um, watching just the positivity as he faces his end. I, I hope and pray that all of us have the ability at the end of our lives, if we have that chance to reflect and look back, can have the positivity of the joy of life and a life of purpose and a life of meaning and to hear Brian just encouraging his community and caring about us as he is ready to say goodbye for the last time was just so powerful to me. And so I, uh, that's why I'm doing this, honestly. That's why I decided to film this video and to post it. For whoever sees it, I want to honor the memory of Brian Barcheck um, and the influence and impact that he had on me. Um, I wouldn't be a snake breeder today. I don't think were it not for his influence and um, the grace that he showed to a young guy that really didn't know anything. Um, he had a million different things he could have chosen to do with his time, but he took the time, both he and Lori took the time to respond to me um, 
15 years ago and, and to help me on my journey. And so I want to honor and thank Brian. And I want to ask all of you out there. I, uh, I consider myself a man of faith. I believe in God. I believe that Jesus is the savior of the world. And to hear Brian at the end of his video say that he had Jesus in his heart really touched me and impacted me and gives me hope that I will see him one day again. And um, I just want to encourage you who who believe like that to continue praying for Lori and for Jade and Noah and the Barchek family and all the crew. And there's just so many people that he influenced by his life. And I hope that he also inspires me and us to do the same, to make this life count and to care for other people. Um, I guess that's it. I didn't have a script or anything. I just I just wanted to share what's on my heart. Um, I want to say thank you to Brian and all the folks that uh, encouraged him along the way. And um, Barcheck family, I'll continue to pray for you guys as you learn to cope with life in this world without him until you get to see him again. I love you guys. Thank you so much if you watch this. And I hope you have a truly amazing day. And I hope that you too, like Brian, will share the love of reptiles with anybody you can. Thanks. Thank you.